Terry Hall of The Specials dies aged 63. Known for his dour image and sharp wit, the singer found fame in the 1970s and 80s with his hits like Ghost Town and Too Much Too Young. He left The Specials in 1981 to form Fun Boy 3 with fellow bandmates Neville Staples and Linval Golding, scoring another run of hits. The singer died after a brief illness, The Specials said in a statement. Terry was a wonderful husband and father and one of the kindest, funniest and most genuine of souls, they wrote. His music and his performances encapsulated the very essence of life, the joy, the pain, the humor, the fight for justice, but mostly love. He will be deeply missed by all who knew and loved him and leaves behind the gift of his remarkable music and profound humanity. Early years Born and raised in Coventry, England, Hall was abducted by a pedophile ring on a trip to France at the age of 12. He left school before his 15th birthday, taking various short-term jobs, bricklayer, quantity surveyor, and apprentice hairdresser among them. He became an active member of the burgeoning Coventry music scene of the late 1970s, playing in the local punk band called Squad, where he was succeeded by Gus Chambers after he left them and being credited as a composer of their Red Alert single. The Specials Initially, the frontman of the Coventry Automatics in 1977 to 1978, which became The Specials in early 1979, Hall first came to prominence in the UK in 1979 when BBC Radio 1 DJ John Peel played their debut single, Gangsters, on his show. The band then went on to release their debut studio album, The Specials, which also contained the hits A Message to You Rudy and Too Much Too Young. In October 1980, The Specials released their second studio album, More Specials, which boasted three more hit singles with Do Nothing, Stereotype, and Rat Race. The single, Ghost Town, released in June 1981, spent three weeks at number one and ten weeks in the top 40 of the UK singles chart. The double A-side song, Friday Night, Saturday Morning, penned by Hall, described a night out at the Coventry Locarno. Fun Boy 3 After the special single Ghost Town was released, Hall left the band to start a new group called Fun Boy 3 with two of his specials bandmates, Linval Golding and Neville Staple. The Fun Boy 3's first single, The Lunatics Have Taken Over the Asylum, was released in 1981 and was followed up in 1982. It Ain't What You Do, It's The Way That You Do It, a duet with Banana Rama. Fun Boy 3 then provided guest vocals for Banana Rama's single, Really Saying Something. That same year, Hall and his bandmates appeared in the music video for Driving In My Car by Madness and released their debut studio album, Fun Boy 3, which reached number 7 in the UK Albums Chart. In February 1983, Fun Boy 3 released their second studio album, Waiting, which contained two top 10 hits, The Tunnel of Love and Our Lips Are Sealed. The latter was a song Hall had written with Jane Whitlin, who had already had success in the United States with a version of the song by her group The Go-Go's. The Color Field In 1984, Hall formed The Color Field, releasing the studio album Virgins and Philistines in 1985, which included the hit single Thinking of You. The album spent seven weeks in the UK chart, peaking at number 12. This new musical direction would culminate in collaborations with Ian Brody and Hall contributing a number of songs to Brody's albums as The Lightning Seeds. Hall also co-wrote the song Smoke Ring for Brody's debut solo studio album Tales Told, which was also released as the lead track on the Smoke Rings EP. A second Colorfield studio album, Deception, was released in 1987, reaching number 95 in the UK Albums chart. Terry, Blair, and Anushka In 1989, Hall teamed up with American actress Blair Booth and jeweler Anushka Gross and began recording under the moniker of Terry, Blair, and Anushka. After two singles which both scraped into the top 80 of the UK singles chart, the trio released their debut studio album Ultra Modern Nursery Rhymes which failed to chart. Vegas In 1992, Hall joined forces with Dave Stewart, most famous for his role as one half of Eurythmics. 
the duo took on the name Vegas and released Vegas, a slick electronic pop album that was heavily promoted by their label BMG. It failed to chart. Only one of the three singles lifted from the album, Possessed managed to break the UK Top 40, reaching number 32. Solo Hall began his formal solo career in 1994 with Home. The album was produced by his former collaborator Ian Brody and it reached number 95 in the UK Albums Chart. The album also features ex-Echo and the Bunnymen bassist Les Pattinson. The highlight of the album was the single Sense, which reached number 54 in the UK Singles Chart. The following year, Hall released the Rainbows EP in collaboration with Damon Alburn of Blur and it climbed to number 62 in the UK singles chart. In 1997, Hall followed up his debut studio album with Laugh. It remains his most successful solo outing, making it to number 50 in the UK albums chart. It also contains the top 50 UK single, Ballad of a Landlord. Both albums featured longtime collaborator Craig Gannon, Terry Hall, and Mushtaq. In 2003, Hall collaborated with Mushtaq of Fundamental on the studio album The Hour of Two Lights, which contains contributions from Blur's Damon Alburn, a 12 year old Lebanese singer, a blind Algerian rapper, a Syrian flautist, Hebrew vocalist, and a group of Polish gypsies. Later years, in 2001, Hall appeared as a guest on the Gorillaz and D12 collaboration single 911, which was a song about terrorist attacks in the US. Hall sings the chorus along with Gorillaz frontman Damon Alburn, while D12 rapped their verses. In 2003, Hall guested on the song Never Alone, which appeared on the Junkie XL studio album, Radio JXL, a broadcast from the computer Hell Cabin. Hall was featured on the studio album True Love by Toots and the Maidles, which won the Grammy Award in 2004 for Best Reggae Album and showcased many notable musicians. In 2007, Hall provided vocals for many tracks on the Dub Pistol studio album Speakers and Tweeters, having previously appeared on the band song Problem Is from the studio album Six Million Ways to Live and also appeared live at the Glastonbury Festival on the Pyramid Stage with Lily Allen and former Specials bandmates Linval Golding. He also played on the Park Stage once again with Golding and also Damon Alburn and beatboxer Shlomo playing a version of the Specials A Message to You Rudy. Later that year, he appeared on the Guild Fest on the BBC Radio 2 stage once again with the Dub Pistols and Golding. The Specials Reformation Hall contacted his former Specials bandmates with the prospect of a reunion. On 30th of March 2008, Hall stated that the Specials would be reforming for tour dates and possibly some recording. On September 6, 2008, six members of the band performed on the main stage at Bestival as the surprise act. The Specials' original keyboardist and primary composer Jerry Dammers did not play at the festival and owns the trademark rights to the name The Specials. So the group was billed as very special guests. On December 2, 2008, the specials announced 2009 tour dates to celebrate their 30th anniversary. Jerry Dahmers did not join the band on tour, although relations between the two parties are strong. Hall was quoted as saying, the door remains open to him. As of 2018, Hall still performed with the specials, including a concert with the Rolling Stones, along with his original band members Linval Golding and Horace Panter, and often DJed with various UK venues. On February 1, 2019, the specials released a new studio album entitled Encore. Upon release, it went straight to the number one spot on the UK albums chart being the highest charting album ever released by the Specials. Personal Life and Death In 1980, he had a brief romantic relationship with Jane Weldon of the band The Go-Go's. Together, they wrote the song Our Lips Are Sealed. Hall had two sons, Theo and Felix, with Jeanette Hall. Hall was a Manchester United supporter. He died on December 19, 2022, at the age of 63. Terry Hall of The Specials, last words before he died. Goodbye. I'm leaving because I'm bored.